Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to first of all be applying tape to my eyes. I find this is the best trick to create that nice sharp edge to any eye look um, and just act as a guide as well. So you do want to make sure that both tape pieces are going on the same angle. You don't want one going up, one going down kind of thing. It is very noticeable um, with the end result. So you do want to make sure they're both even. Next thing I'm going to do is prime my eyelids and I'm going in with my usual soft ochre paint pot from MAC and applying that all over the lids to neutralize any discoloration and also uh, help the eyeshadows to stand out a lot more. For our transition color today I'm taking Silk Cream and Made For Each Other on an Eag Show blending brush and applying that through my crease and outer corner just mapping out the eye look and creating a nice transition color for the eyeshadows. The next eyeshadow we're going to take is slightly deeper in colour. I'm taking these two shadows from the Morphe palette and, and Jaclyn Hill palette again. Um, this is Butter and Pukey, I believe. And I'm placing those just slightly lower in the crease underneath the previous transition shades. And I'm using a blending brush from Zoeva to do this. I also go back and forth between the transition colours. Um, to soften any harsh lines and edges so that everything is nice and soft and smoky. Next I'm going to take these deeper brown shades again from the same Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and placing that with a petite crease brush on the outer corner and through the crease. Again slightly lower than what we did with the previous shades because I do want to create a nice gradient effect. And I slowly build up these browns so that they're nice and deep and smoky. I do go kind of back and forth between the previous uh, browns that we've gone in with um, to bring them back a little bit and soften any harsh lines and edges. So I do go back in with Pukey and Butter and Made for Each Other and Silk Cream um, just on their previous brushes as well. Yeah, just to create a nice soft smoky look and just to make sure there's no harsh lines. Next I'm going to take these even deeper brown tones on a pencil brush. From the same Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette and placing those on the very outer corner and then the lower crease as well. I wanted to deepen up the outer corner slightly more. Um, as you guys can see they're quite deep in colour so I do take my time with a step and slowly build up those browns. Um, it's easier to place more product on than it is to take away. And I always go back and forth between the previous browns like I have been doing with each step to soften any harsh lines and edges and just help the blending process make it a little bit easier. And I'm making sure not to bring those colours up too high in the crease. I don't want to look like I have a black eye sort of thing. So I do make sure to keep the lighter browns along like the top upper crease area near the brow bone and keep those dark browns very focused on the outer corner and lower crease area. Next I'm going to grab some concealer. I'm just using my Instant Age Rewind Concealer on an eye concealer brush. And I'm basically cutting the crease. So I'm creating a half cut crease today. So I'm only bringing it about halfway across the lid today. And just filling in uh, the whole lid area. And I always like to blend the outer edge. Kind of diffuse it a little bit with my finger. Um, just so it fades into those shadows. And there's no kind of stark crease line where that concealer finishes. I want it to fade so there's no... Yeah, no stark line. I'm going to take Pegasus next from Makeup Geek. It's a gorgeous foiled eyeshadow. Absolutely stunning. It's beautiful kind of like aquary turquoise shade. I'm placing that basically all over the lid, almost all the way across, about two thirds of the way. Um, and this is going to be the main focus, like the main featuring color, I guess, of today's look. I do love a good blue cut crease I think it's so stunning especially on like blue eyes like it will just make those blue tones in your eyes pop it's absolutely gorgeous then I'm going to take poolside which is another makeup geek eyeshadow and place that right next to Pegasus uh, it's slightly deeper in color so it's going to help uh, Pegasus fade into the deeper blue tones that we're going to take next speaking of I'm going to go in with sapphire which is a stunning stunning blue like royal blue kind of shadow uh, from Morphe. It's one of their single eyeshadows. And I'm actually placing that on with my finger initially to get the most pigment payoff. And then I go in with a brush just to, you know, clean up the edges, I guess. Get it nice and defined along that cut crease. And I do go back and forth between Poolside, Pegasus and Sapphire just so that they all blend seamlessly together and there's no stark, harsh, defining line. 
I also go back in with those deep brown tones on the outer corner of my eye to bring them back a little bit. I feel like they could get kind of lost when I place sapphire down. So I do kind of go back and forth between the dark browns on the outer corner and sapphire to help all those shadows fade together seamlessly, like so. Once you've got a little something like this, we're going to move on to lashes. And for lashes today, I actually went in with my Icona lashes in the style Make Him Miss Me from their Midnight collection. They're so like wispy and they're very fluttery on the outer corner. They're shorter in the corner, longer on the outer corner, which I love. It really complements this kind of cat eye look. And they don't cover up too much of the eyeshadow, which is also a bonus. <laughs> I wanted to create a little bit more of like a greenish slight like kind of greenish reflect to the eyelid so I went in with mermaid which is the prismatic eyeshadow from NYX and just kind of dusted that along the lid area as you guys can see for my inner corner highlight I took my Chi Chi pride palette and used that very kind of yellow tone gold for the inner corner I thought it contrasted quite nicely with this look then I took WA which is a shimmery white shadow from the Folklore Perth Travel Palette and applied that to my brow bone as a little brow bone highlight. For my waterline today, I'm going to take this nude eye coal from Models Prefer and line my waterline to open up the eyes. And then to give a bit more definition to the lower lash line, I'm taking those dark brown tones that we used on the outer corner of the eye and just kind of deepening up the outer corner bottom lash line area. And just smoking it out a little bit with my pencil brush from gloss and then to further smoke it out a little bit more and make it a little less harsh i'm taking the four previous brown tones that we used through the crease area and just smoking out the bottom lash line a little bit not too much where it does look like you've got a bit of a black eye going just enough so it is a bit more smoky and sexy and for mascara today i took my raw mascara and just coated my bottom lashes with that and that here is the completed eye makeup look i thought it was pretty simple but also very effective i love how it turned out just a simple cut crease but i do love the color mixture in there like with the blues and everything i just think it's so flattering and this is kind of like the outfit that i paired it with as well um that little hat and uh, kind of floral play suit but yeah, let me know what you guys think if you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want me to do something a bit more extravagant or something a little bit more wearable and neutral, please let me know. Thank you for sticking through to the end. I love you all so much. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye guys.